Hi and welcome to 20 Carina Terrace and my name is Jenny. Now this property is 20 and 22 so it's on two titles and we'll discuss that a little bit more shortly. I'll just show you around the area here. As you can see this is the middle of the day but it's a lovely quiet area. There's a city bus just up there so you know you're safely on the bus route. As you can see this is a nice quiet family area. Everything's well maintained. And at the end of this road down here, just at the end of the road down there, there's Memorial Park. So a lovely close, there's a little community swimming pool and play area as well. Okay, now I'll just go down the driveway a little bit and show you a bit more of this section and the possibilities. Now I'll just stop here shortly. As you can see, this is the house, um, but this has got a quite a big front section. If I just take you through in here, now this is the 22 part. So it's like I said, it's on two titles, but you could possibly have this front section separately from the house, or the house separate from the front section. So this is just something you'd have to discuss with the sales agent. And this is Marcus Watson as a sales agent. So if you do have any interest, by all means contact him. But let's go down and show you the further around the house. So now this could be, it's got five double bedrooms, but there are another couple of rooms that you may be interested in using in whatever way suits you. Now I'll just stop here for a second. As you can see under the deck here, it's all fully enclosed and there's a couple of doors. Now it's not watertight, but it is a great storage area. Bikes, lawnmowers, those types of things. We'll just come up the stairs and we'll take you into the house. Okay, now we're at the back porch here. And to my right is your laundry. So it is the exterior, but right next to the back door. So not having to go outside to use it. Now, as we come into the house, this is the lounge. I'll just stop here briefly and show you around. Now to my left here, there is a room and that has a gas heater as well. And the next door is another smaller room and you can use it however you wish. Through that door there is a bathroom and some more rooms. And to my right is your kitchen dining. And when we go in there, we go upstairs to additional rooms. But I'll show you that when we get there. So this is your lounge. You've got these lovely modern light fittings. And we have a gas heater and storage cupboards. Okay, so you've got the serve over here that goes through into the kitchen. And um, that will... And that will show you, so you can serve that through to the kitchen, into the lounge. And there's your back door. If we just go to the right here, here's the first of the rooms. Now there's a wardrobe here, and a gas heater. Now this faces out to the front of the section. Now as you can see, it opens up by these French doors, onto this lovely wooden deck. So you can oversee the front section as well. So definitely great possibilities with this room. I just go back out into the lounge and we turn left. This is one of the smaller rooms. You could use it as a single bedroom if you wished. There's no built-in wardrobe, but it does have a freestanding wardrobe. And once again, it faces out to the front of the house. Okay, so it faces out onto the stick, but there's no actual door onto it. So it is a smaller room, but still... A small single, or even a nursery if that's how you wished. Back into the lounge again, and to the left, we have a small hallway. You've got a gas heater in here as well, and small storage. There's plenty of storage in this home. Lots for those family bits and pieces that you, that you have. And coming into, this is the third room. And once again, those lovely modern light fittings. Lovely drapes as well. Now this is a good double size room. And you've got some wall lights as well. 
listen to those birds. It's a lovely native area. Lovely big trees in this section. And we've got triple wardrobing with those mirrored wardrobe doors. So that's great. Coming back out and to the left, um, we've got more storage in here. And that's under the stairwell. And to our left is the downstairs bathroom. So this has triple vanity mirrors, toilet, vanity, and shower. And that heat lamp's lovely. It's got a heat lamp in here as well. Okay, so we'll go back through this hallway and to the left, back into the lounge. As you can see, a nice big space. And through this archway here is your kitchen dining. So we'll start down the end here in the kitchen. Now this is obviously a more modern kitchen. Look at that lovely counter space. So it could be a beautiful be breakfast bar or extra bench space, servery, multiple uses that. And you've got lovely drawers down the end here. You know those hold quite a bit and more extra bench space under those windows. Lovely big corner pantry here. And an electric oven and range hood and it also features a dishwasher now one of the great things about this kitchen is if you stand at your kitchen bench you're looking out onto that back section so you can keep an eye on those the kids if they're out there playing or you've just got this lovely view and I'll take you out there shortly to show you this gorgeous tree now at the end of the kitchen is a nice big dining space and also a ranch slider that goes outside into a little small covered over patio. And out onto this back section I was just telling you about. So there's lovely big native trees here. Lots of privacy. Now like I so said, we are in winter, so look at this tree. It's just gorgeous. Now the leaves are all starting to fall, but that would be beautiful shade in the summer. Just a real feature of this backyard. And also you've got an extra deck, just to the end there. Okay, so if we turn back into the house here. Now we're sitting at the bottom of the stairway, so to the right is a bedroom. I'll just show you through here. Now this is one of the other smaller rooms that you can use in any manner that you wish. There's no actual wardrobe, but there is a cupboard there. So there's a cupboard there to go under the stairway storage space and there are power points in here too so this could easily be converted into a lovely office if that's what you needed now we'll just go up the stairs here and we're on the top we're going to the top floor now the home is insulated in the ceiling and underfloor okay at the top of the stairs to our left we have a shower room a toilet and a bathroom I'll just take in some storage space in there. I'll slowly take you back round to the other side. We have one, two, and down that corridor, three bedrooms. Okay, so we'll just go left here. This is the bedroom. Once again, larger than normal wardrobe because we've got extra space at the back there of this one. This is once again a good double size bedroom. Now if we have a look at this window, once again, it faces out onto the back, to that back section, and that beautiful feature tree in the backyard. If we just back into the hallway and turn left, We've got another gas heater down here to help heat the upstairs. We go into yet another bedroom. i show you here. Now this one's actually got a double wardrobe. It's got a wardrobe in there, just there. And I'll show you around the room. A really good size room. And then at the end, we have this space here, which goes into the roof space. So lots, lots of... Um, Difficult to see in this light, but a good ceiling space, good size cupboard space for those things like Christmas trees and big items that you want to use annually. Now, 
One more room to show you. And to our left is the last of the rooms. Once again, this is a good sized double bedroom. And you've got those wall lights on there as well. And it opens out to the front of the house. So overlooking the section and those beautiful trees. And this has got a single wardrobe in it as well. And we'll go across the foyer here and show you these upstairs bathrooms. Now the beauty of this being all separate is that someone can be in the shower and you've still got use of the bathroom. So this room solely has the shower in. Right next door we have a separate toilet and to the end the bathroom. Now this bathroom has been modernised as well so lovely new newish cabinets and fittings. So this is 20 Karina Terrace or it could be 20 and 22. Marcus would love to hear your interest so please feel free to contact him. Thank <music> you.